A new study has identified rare genetic variants linked to hair loss in men, including two that had not been previously identified. In addition to improving our understanding of the disease, the results could pave the way for personalized therapies. Androgenetic alopecia, or male pattern hair loss, MPHL, affects 30% to 50% of men before age 50. About 80% of MPHL cases are due to genetic factors. Worldwide, studies of the genetics underlying MPHL have focused on common variants, identifying more than 350 genetic loci, including the X-linked androgen receptor gene that is transmitted from mother to child. Now, new research from the University Hospital in Bonn, Germany, goes beyond analyzing common genetic variants to include rarer variants in an effort to better understand the disease. Such analyzes are more difficult because they require large cohorts and genetic sequences to be captured on an institution-by-institution -institution basis, said Sabrina Henna, the study's lead author, through genome or exome sequencing of affected individuals. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack because statistically, only a small number of people, or even just one person, carry specific variants. This is why we applied gene-based analyses to analyze variants first based on the genes in which they were found, said Stephanie heilman heimbach corresponding author of the study. Taking data from the UK Biobank on 72,469 men aged 39 to 82 years old, the researchers used Sequencing Core Association Testing, SCAT, a method of testing for rare genetic variants in an area related to the trait, an open-source Python package that provides a framework for modeling the effects of rare functional genetic variants to examine variants that occur in less than 1% of the population. They found rare genetic variations in five genes, EDA2R, WNT10A, CHEP, CEPT1, and EIF3F, EDA2R and WNT10A, were considered candidate genes based on analysis of common variants, but the results confirm that they also act as rare variants. Our study provides further evidence that these two genes play a role and that this occurs through both common and rare variants, said Heilman Heimbach. Similarly, HF is located in a genetic region close to EDA2R and the androgen receptor, the region most strongly associated with hair loss in previous genetic association studies. However, HEF itself has never been considered a candidate gene, Henna said. Our study suggests this may also play a role. The CEP1 and EIF3F genes are located in genetic regions that have not been linked to hair loss in men. Therefore, these are completely new candidate genes, and we hypothesize that rare variants in these genes contribute to genetic predisposition. CHIPH, CEPT1, and EIF3F represent new candidate genes with high confidence given their previously described roles in hair development and growth. The findings also suggest that genes that cause rare genetic diseases that affect the skin and hair, such as ectopic dysplasia, may also play a role in the development of MPHL. Additional studies are needed to investigate the interactions between rare and common genetic variants of MPHL and how rare variants contribute to the development of the disease. The researchers hope that the additional information provided by their study will lead to improved and personalized treatment strategies for men with hereditary hair loss.